You know, it's absolutely no secret that walleyes in, in any species of fish like cover. Whether it's weeds, whether it's flooded timber like we have here today, even brush near the bottom. Walleyes like to sit in those covers and wait for the bait fish to come to them. It's an ambush point for them. But the age old question has always been, how do I fish for those walleyes that are sitting in that cover? It's always really snaggy. You're not sure if you should be pitching jigs or exactly what you should be doing to get to those fish. And this technique that we're doing here today is actually the first time that I've done it. And it's been very eye opening for me. On the business end of things, we're using this Sabeel Snagless Flat Shad. And it's a bait that's phenomenal. It sinks into these covers and it doesn't get snagged up much. So you can actually slow roll it through the trees and get those fish to come out of the trees and attack the bait. It just as important is the setup, the equipment that you're gonna use other than the bait as well too. And everything I'm using in this technique is gonna be a little bit heavier than what I'm typically using, okay? I'm using 14 pound fire line actually. You know, granted, this bait goes through trees well, but you're gonna get a few snags. And if you go up to a 14 pound test fire line, you can feel everything instantly because it's no stretch, but you can also straighten out hooks of the bait and save a lot of the baits that you're casting into these covers. On top of that, what you're gonna wanna look for is a nice beefy rod. This is a seven foot Walla Angler Signature Series rod from Bass Pro, actually made specifically for casting cranks. And what we have here is a rod that has a very good backbone, okay? You can see if I bend the rod here, a lot of the rod is backbone. So when you get that bite when you're casting this crank, you can get a good hook set into the fish. But we have a fast tip on this rod, a softer tip than typically what I might use in other crankbait casting situations. And that's so when you get that fish that it comes out of the cover and it attacks that bait you have a little bit of give when you're fighting that fish to the boat so the same type of setup i'm using but everything a little bit heavier a little bit stronger and it's allowing us to get those fish out of the cover and into the boat